Hi friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Tagaboses. And when you're looking for a file in Drive, you may be familiar with this search bar where I can put in uh, some terms, I can put in uh, whatever it happens to be, and Google will not only search my drive for files that have that term in the title, but also in the document itself, which is a great way to search. But a little hidden gem you may not be aware of is this, or this little search option, right? These three lines here that bring down this drop down menu where I can now filter my search. For example, I could search only presentations that are either owned by me, meaning I made, I made them, or they're not owned by me, or maybe they're made by a specific person where I could put in a fellow teacher's or a, a student's email address and look for things that were made by that person. Do I wanna see if they have the words in the file or maybe in the title, where might they be? Anywhere? Are they in my drive? Sure. Obviously, anywhere is going to search all of these places, right? But some different ideas. Uh, you can put in date ranges for when it was modified. I don't know what this thing was, but I know I worked on it last week. Helps you filter down a little bit. Uh, and all sorts of different options. But again, when I say search, it helps to filter down the options to find things that you're looking for. One little bit of uh, suggestion, piece of advice, if you will, be cautious using the type. Uh, I've had plenty of experiences where I was searching for a document and I knew I worked on it, I knew I ex it existed, but I just couldn't find it. And it's because really the thing was a spreadsheet, but I forgot it was a spreadsheet. I thought it was a document. And by setting the type to documents, it's going to exclude anything that's not a document. So just be cautious with the type of file unless you're certain that's what it is. If you're not sure, put any and maybe use some of these other filters. But there you have it, the filter options within the search tool of Google Drive, making it easier to find those files you're looking for. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to subscribe to this channel and get notifications uh, when new content just like this video is posted. And as always, thank you for watching.